The US FDA has banned NMN from being sold as a dietary supplement in the United States. And in this video, we're going to take a look at what does it mean and whether or not this like ban and is it actually like a real ban and if it's legitimate or not. Execute order 66. So a lot of this uh, has been uh, taking place over the past few uh, months even. And since like 2020 already, it has been raised the question whether or not NMN is like uh, a pharmaceutical drug or is it a dietary supplement. And based on like this different investigation, the FDA has done over the past few years they have like come to the conclusion that uh, NMN is not like a dietary supplement because it's not found in like the food source or food supply and uh, that's why the reason they conclude that that uh, NMN is excluded from the dietary supplement definition and uh, that's why it's not uh, may not be marketed or sold as a dietary supplement oh, bullshit. when the FDA initially reviewed NDA notifications relating to NMN NMN was not clearly identified as an article that was authorized for investigation ie MIB 626 which is a, a form of uh, crystallized NMN that uh, this company Metro Biotech is working on David Sinclair is part of that company as well and once the FDA has been made aware of the connection between NMN and MIB 626, we concluded that NMN is in fact excluded from the definition of a dietary supplement under section 201 of the FDA and C Act. So it looks like, you know, that uh, the FDA wasn't clear whether or not NMN is a dietary supplement or a pharmaceutical drug up until the point of um, the Metro Biotech company has started to do some trials with the MIB 626. MIB 626 is an oral formulation of a microcrystalline unique polymorph of beta nicotinamide mononucleotide. So it's a form of NMN, uh, like a more patented form of NMN and uh, a different form of it. And that has been shown in humans to increase NAD levels in older adults. 1000 milligram once or twice a day has been found to be safe and associated with uh, substantial dose related increases in blood NAD levels and its metabolome. MIB 626 has also been actually used by the US Special Forces as well to test like what is the effect of NMN supplementation or this MIB 626 supplementation on their performance and NAD levels. Uh, these trials are still in the works, they haven't been uh, released yet, but there are like um, some of like these uh, initial findings that it does like pretty much work in improving insulin sensitivity and uh, like combat fatigue and those kind of things. So yeah, in my personal experience, I would say that NMN and boosting NAD levels can be very beneficial for these high combat or high stress uh, situations where you're like sleep deprived and under chronic uh, stress, such as soldiers in combat. But um, yeah, obviously there's also like just medical benefits in terms of improving insulin sensitivity in older uh, adults. So what does this all mean? Uh, yeah, like the FDA has stated that NMN cannot be sold as a dietary supplement and uh, it's quote unquote called like a ban but uh, when I've talked with some of the companies that sell NMN like do not age in the United States as well then uh, they haven't heard anything that you know they can't sold it they, that they can't sell it anymore uh, which you know may take some time before it actually goes into effect um, but in my opinion actually more just this statement applies more to the MIB 626 in my opinion so the MIB 626 is the patented new crystallized form of NMN that uh, is probably like said to be more potent like a super NMN <laughs> as David Sinclair says it uh, whether or not it is some sort of a superior form of regular NMN we don't know uh, because like regular NMN has been seen to work in raising any levels and improving insulin sensitivity as well as the MIB 626 has done the same so um, <laughs> I don't know like what's the real difference based on the current studies uh, uh, but the FDA ban you know, I think it probably applies more to MIB 626 because, I mean, the say that it doesn't exist in the food supply is not accurate because there are foods, natural foods that contain NMN. There are also people being like some conspiratorial or uh, like uh, Dr. Brad Stanfield who also made a video about this announcement and he thinks that um, this is essentially the uh, MIB 6, the Metro Biotech uh, company uh, lobbying for the FDA to ban NMN so that they could sell their own the MIB 626 as a pharmaceutical drug not as a dietary supplement so uh, you know who knows but uh, NMN itself you know you can find it at food and uh, it has safety data behind in humans so I don't think that there is justified to ban it outright as a dietary supplement Piss 
stop. What does it mean? Does it mean that you can't get any men anymore in the future? Maybe it will. Like in the worst case scenario, yeah, it literally means that you can't get any men as a supplement anymore and you need to only get the pharma version <laughs> uh, with some sort of a prescription or something like that. But I think the best case scenario is that it just applies to the MIB 6 to 6. Only, only time will tell. We'll see what next year brings. Uh, I definitely take NMN and I'll plan on taking it in the future as well. So I think it's uh, worthwhile. And also let me know, do you think that this is lobbying or is it just the FDA not knowing anything about NMN and just you know banning it based on the uh, connection to MIB 626? Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click a like, subscribe, notification below as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.